I have to strongly advise you not to have heard enough about it. I'll have nothing to do with White Helix unless I know the better, and I would advise you to follow suit. In fact, consider your contractual obligations fulfilled. The investigation is over. David Seraph, of course, by D. I had a friend at Gene View run the test off the records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile, according to those old medical records I dug up, but his dad carries no common phenotypes either. Probability of parentage is zero. Even his birth date is a question. So his mom was sterile and his father had no common phenotypes. So that's kind of impossible for them to be the parents. Hey Megan, I know you had some questions. Sorry about all the graphs. Oh god, it's a, it's a wall of text. Oh god. <laughs> it's a wall of text. Alright, here we go. I found his psyche valve following the... The SWAT incident with the augmented teen. I managed to seek a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy At least not yet. I'll be pretty honest with you. The psyche valve doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain command, anger management issues, and potential PTSD. Huh. Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you want me to read between the lines. So here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior one of Jensen off the force and had the evaluation worded to read like just cause. Most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. They thought he was a real straight shooter, even though the SWAT incident soured his reputation a little. Still, my source liked him enough to want to keep his psyche valve buried. This is good work, Brent. Keep it up. Ugh. Basically, to paraphrase, Megan, Megan found some, uh, Megan found a strand of uh, mitochondrial DNA, which is only passed through the maternal line. Uh, everybody has it. Every human has it. It's uh, but it's only passed down from daughter to daughter. Uh, Megan found something that is uh, leaps and bounds ahead for the medical field and basically basically the bottom thing is they can't tell if it's a natural evolution or if something was done to the mother while the baby was in vitro or in the in the mother's womb so that's pretty much it and the mother had no such mutation so it must have occurred when the baby was in a uh, in vitro all right I was, I was hoping to get more, but our some nuclear snake, which is Pritchard, was hounding my trace, and I had to jump networks. So when I tried to reconnect, my tunnel was caved. So the debt paid. This is the last time I do a job without the money up front. So there's a lot of interesting stuff. A lot of interesting reading, I'll, I'll say. A lot of backstory on Jensen. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Third floor or something. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the fourth floor. Maybe the fifth. I don't know. The tall ass building, man. <laughs> no, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. Beta. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam. When he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? 
I forgot who has them, though. Give her the photos. Are these sure. the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. Inquire. Tell me more. Well, I could convince her. I think she's a beta. I'd love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. Gene therapy. With Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. <laughs> Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my... Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Yeah, oh, when that's all are we're going to get. Mona Mills people going to get here with my dinner? I don't know. Can I get her to keep going? I'll Miss just Walters, try. Please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well... Mr. Radford and I spoke We're not going to get many, much more. Many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? I don't think we're going to get any more out of her, man. I think that's going to be it. I think that's it. Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. Sure. Oh. Make sure he It's for it. him anyway. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. 200 credits. Leah, let her rest. I'll leave her. She's no threat Richard. to anybody. I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters. Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. See, he's not such a bad guy. I think that might be the end of the side quest. She's no threat to anybody, so... You know. She can't even remember. It sounds like she, uh... She started going senile around the year 2010 when Adam would have been 17 or so. No, 12 or 13. Oh, what year would that have been? Like 2006, maybe? Yeah, something like that, right? Because when was Adam born? Actually, I don't know. There's, there should be like a, a data pad or something that tells me. I think it was, I think it was 93, right? Yeah, so around that time. 2005, 2006, and what, is, what year does the game take place in? 
2025 or 2027? That's a long time, man. Everything seems to be under control in the convention center. And Tiger? He's on stage now. <laughs> Aww. What the hell? Where does this lead to? This leads to the other bathroom. Oh, crap. Don't you guys think that that's not a good thing? If there's a machine pistol randomly? No, I'm, I'm the only one that thinks that? Of course I am. I like how there's inverted triangles to determine whether it's a man or, or a male or a female restroom. Alright, let's go. All right, here we go. Sometimes this escalator has broken down too steep. Ah! It scared me. Holy crap! Alright, I remember this being a, a dialogue sequence, so I'm going to save here before I go in. Ooh, ooh, look, I can make it switch. Alright, enough screwing around. I'm going to save. After all that running around, let me save. Please, please, please let me save. All that, uh, all those dialogue choices and everything. Sweet, thank you. I want him to spill the beans, so I'm going to have to try and persuade him. Which will not be fun if I screw up a million times. It will be actually very boring. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Especially since it's being recorded. That's right, I'm up in Six here. Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Yes. This team <laughs> to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? MP3! Taggart, talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes. Very in the adept last few about days. learning about people and the understanding them. If the denied information, he has nothing to exploit. Biotech companies are secretly participating in an unethical super-soldier experiment. Accusation must be and confronted directly. As a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest, than other persons. David demonstrated Seraph pointing out and his failings. corporate bedfellows are desperate. Here we go. He's pointing out failings as I say it. The regulation boat. So this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. Basically, ad hominem and confrontation. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against humanity front, and you are our prime suspect. Okay. This crap, you got a lot of nerve. They say confrontation. It's not right, it's not, but it's enough for a search warrant. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction. But it's enough for a search warrant. There's the eye thing. That's, all I That's want usually to. a good thing. You're standing in the way. 
I'm not. 